Hey guys, today I'm going to do a little maintenance on the truck. I have a 2001 Ford F-250 Super Duty with the V-10. I'm going to change the spark plugs, uh, so we'll go through on how to do that. Uh, I watch videos as much as you guys do. Kind of took a crash course on it. Looks like two of them are going to be a little more difficult than the others. That would be the passenger side rear ones, the rear two. Uh, so we will, we'll just check this out, see how it goes. It's got about 120,000 miles on it, and uh, I recently picked this truck up, so I'm going through the little odds and ends that I felt needed to be updated, maintenance, replaced, whatever. So uh, stick with me, and we'll see how this goes. Well, just for starters. It's a big truck, so you're going to need a ladder. And, you know, it barely fits in my garage, this truck does, so. Um, we are going to be working right here. And I got to figure out a way to mount this thing, so you can kind of see what we're doing. So stick with me to get things rounded up. Going to start off by Checking the plugs, check the, these guys for the gap before I even get started. And if you look a lot of times on your vehicles, let's see, I don't know if you can see this, but this bottom section right here actually shows you what your spark plug gap is supposed to be. Hopefully you can see that. Otherwise, uh, I guess Google is your friend. I also have the Chilton manual, so I'm going to look up the torque specs. So, let's get started. Alright guys, so the spark plug gap is 0.052 to 0.056. The Chilton manual says 0.054. So, you have to check them even though they're brand new. And my plugs... Gap tester. So put it in here. Try to spin it. 0 0.045. You don't want to do this real hard because they're platinum. I'm almost. 0 0.05 so every one of them was off so the first one I had to get I'm going for 0 Get this. I'm trying to do it in the camera and see what I'm doing. So point zero five four five five. So I have to do that on every single one of them. The feeler kind of stinks because they they move fairly easy. So to make the gap bigger. Put it in here. If you can see that, put that in there and you pry up a little bit, but you're trying to do it so softly so that it doesn't move very much. So kinda I'm not gonna do this on the camera because for one I'm not very good at it. And I might as well throw this disclaimer in there now. I'm just a do-it-yourself kinda guy. Um so this video is mainly to show what a do-it-yourselfer can do maintaining his own vehicle. Um, I'm not a mechanic. I always watch, when I watch YouTube, I watch several videos. Uh, I see the things that people do wrong, that they do right, the different ideas people have. I put it all together. So 
hopefully uh, this helps on what you'll go through if you try to do this yourself. Uh, just same ideas that I have. So uh, I'm going to gap all these before I even get started taking apart the truck. Alright guys. Here's the first one we're going to do. Gapped all the plugs. Uh, need to air this stuff out. We're going to do this probably several times. This is a 7 millimeter right here. And just take it slow and easy on the stuff. You don't need to be tearing everything up, over wrenching. clean this up real nice when we're done. Now I'm only doing one at a time. Some of them say to get everything out and cleaned up and then do your plugs, but um, let me get a flashlight. on your knees working up in here. I'm a little guy so I can I like to be able to see stuff so I can see down in the hole. Let's see if I can There you go. See for you guys that have to have visuals Hole's not too dirty. I'll, I'll air it out, but that's where we're working. So, air. Get all that. Another adapter and 
cameras right in the way. So, it's on there. There's a lot of videos on not having very many treads on this thing and blowing them through the hood, all kinds of stuff. So, it seems like I picked up a lot. Of Extra dirt. Doesn't look too bad in there. But out of curiosity, see the gap? Let me go grab my gap wrench. Let's get this away from that hole because that looks dirty. So, time out. Okay. So if you remember, the gap's supposed to be point. 0 0.52 to 0 0.056 Curiosity This one is still gapped pretty good not too bad. It doesn't look bad. It looks good. So, get one set up to go back in. Time out. Alright, we're going to go through a couple things. So, here's the boot. Inspect the end. A little, little something in there. of the electric grease so we are going to put dielectric grease into this end right here so the boot is nice and good nice and flexible I'll clean it up there is no cracks Good to go. I'm gonna reuse it. I just had a rag a second ago. Okay. Let's clean this thing out. harder than it looks trying to videotape into this thing do everything in there okay so that's cleaned up we are going to put anti-seize on the threads this takes 5 8 inch plug wrench and inside there is a, a rubber gasket so when you put the plug in it pops in place stays put 
and then you'll lightly put this in. You don't want to cross thread it, so make sure it threads real nice before you even try putting your wrench on it. So, now I gotta find my antices. Alright, I got things set up a little better now. So again, this guy right here, this boot, going to put just a dab of dielectric grease in there. So that part's done. Put it back where I can reach it when I'm working on the truck. Torque specs are 132 inch pounds, which is about 11 foot pounds. Um, so you'll need a torque wrench. Uh, they say you don't have to have one, but whoa, you don't want to drop these things. Oh, we'll get a little bit of antices on there. socket and we're ready to go we'll reinstall this thing okay we're still on this first one Put this back in there center it up in the hole and everything gentle like I said just get it started Sometimes if it don't turn, just give it a couple little wiggles. feels pretty smooth. I'm tightening it up a little bit right there. Dielectric grease in the end of this thing. Push back down in there. This will be easier once the camera is not in the way, but I'm starting on the harder of the two sides. Just because I want to get the challenge out of the way. There's no torque spec or anything for this little 7 millimeter. But again, you're, you're just working on plastic, so don't get all muscle head on it. Pops 
And there you go. Now, I have to go the whole way. There's a flashlight. So, one, two, three. This guy right there will be the last easy one on this side. And then there's another one. Well, there's two more. One back there quite a ways. So, uh... see it back there so when this side's done the other ones on the other side are all easy to get to this is the passenger side and that's the basics to it so if I come across anything interesting or if I break something or mess it up then I will show you all right all right guys I'm just taking it slow and easy I'm on number five in the back and I already did number four Actually, I've done this whole side up to that one. That's supposed to be the toughest one, and it hasn't been too bad. But I can actually get both arms back in there. But I'm a pretty skinny guy. I'm six foot. I got long. I got long arms, and they're skinny. So I mean, I can get in there just fine. Um, from everything I've heard, I was pretty intimidated by this one. But I've been able to get my torque wrench and everything back there and uh, the torque is just over like when you snug this wrench up it's just past that so um, just keep that in mind but it's not as bad as you think you got skinny arms you can get in there just fine uh, you're doing a little more blind work back there but you can do it so this is the hard side the other side, you can see everything. You can see the one back there. You can see this whole side, so uh, this one will be easier and faster. Another thing is, the plugs have all not been bad. Um, they're all gapped the same as the ones I'm putting in, so at 120,000 miles, original plugs, they were still good. Well, you know, maintenance and needs changed out, but I mean, there were so far I have not come across anything that has uh, thrown up a red flag. But that's where I am so far. I'm actually almost done with the hardest side. All right, guys, to the driver's side. I'm gonna take off this uh, pipe right here for uh, ear cleaner. Just to undo this. Undo this hose and this hose. Take that clamp off. Pull this thing out of the way. And we should be able to rock and roll through this side. I'm just getting started. Okay, guys. I'm done with this side. You see, take the breather tube off. It opened up access to everything in here. This side was so much easier. I'm glad I started with the other side because it kind of just gets tedious after a while. But the side was fast and easy. Never came across anything that looked bad. Everything pretty much hand tightened all the way up. So, um, thanks for watching. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, leave them down below. And uh, just uh, pretty, pretty simple maintenance job. It wasn't too tough. Just remember the, the passenger side. It's a little tougher, but you can do it. Um, save you quite a bit of money. One of the guys at work just had uh, theirs done. It was 800 bucks just to do the spark plugs. So for this big old truck, it wasn't too bad of a job. It took me a couple hours. But I just took it slow and easy, tried to clean everything out as I went pretty good. Um, make sure you check your gap. I checked the gap on the ones as they came out just to see, you know, make sure everything was still the same. And uh, not too bad. 
it was a rainy day anyway, so couldn't go out fishing or anything. So thanks for watching. Be safe.